Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this accordion menu using only HTML and CSS. As you can see this is a really nice menu and uh, this is what we're gonna create. But before we get started, if you are new here on this channel I post new videos every single day that will help you become a better web developer so that you can earn more money and improve the quality of your life. If that is something that you are interested in, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also make sure to hit the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any of the new videos that I upload. With that being said, let's get started. I have an empty folder here on my desktop and I opened it with my text editor which in my case it's brackets. I'm gonna create the index.html file and the style.css. Now for the basic markup and for the title accordion menu I'm gonna link my style sheet so style.css and um, we also need to get the font awesome for the icons so I'm gonna click start using free copy this link and uh, paste it right here okay now for the markup I'm gonna create a div with a class of content um, and inside here another div with a class of accordion okay now I'm gonna create a, let me make some space here an ally uh, give it a class of uh, uh, a ACC item for accordion item and uh, in here I'm gonna put a link with a class of BTN and I'm gonna say uh, user profile and uh, below this uh, link I'm gonna put uh, another div with a class of sub menu and in here on, uh, two links I'm gonna say username and uh, info it doesn't really matter what we put here it's just to show you an example so I'm gonna copy this uh, three more times one two three and uh, let's uh, let's open this in the in the browser so this is what it looks like until now and uh, below this I want to have uh, one more li.acc item for the exit button I'm gonna put a link with a class of btn and in here I'm gonna say exit okay now uh, I'm gonna need to grab the icons but first let's change the text here on the, the second one I'm gonna say uh, emails on the third one settings and on the fourth one memberships memberships okay uh, let's see all right now let's grab let's search for user wait for it to load up and uh, grab this one click here to copy and paste it here let's take a look uh, okay as you can see there it is now envelope there you have it copy and uh, paste it in here now for the settings I'm gonna search for settings and grab this uh, wheel right here copy this paste it right here before settings and uh, another one for uh, membership let's see what is this uh, suitcase there you have it copy paste it in here and I also need uh, an exit one I'm gonna search for uh, logout and there there it is I'm gonna copy this one come back and paste it in here and uh, this is it for now now we're gonna go to our style.css file and start with the styling. I'm gonna create some space here first. Okay, select everything with the asterisk, remove the margin and the padding, so margin 0, padding 0, box sizing, border 
box uh, HTML I'm gonna change the font size to 20 pixels for the body I'm gonna say font family Arial sans serif uh, list style I'm gonna set it to none to remove the bullet points and I'm gonna give it a gray background so uh, EC 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 okay uh, now I'm gonna select the dev with a class of content I'm gonna center the menu so I'm gonna say uh, position absolute top 50% left 50% transform translate minus 50% minus 50% that should do it as you can see now it's centered uh, let's select the div with the class of accordion so accordion and I'm gonna give it a width of 400 pixels a border radius 0.5 rem if you don't know what rem units are I have a video on that I'm gonna link it in the description and in the top comment along with uh, other links you may find useful but for now just go along and overflow hidden okay now I'm gonna select the, the list items and uh, remember I gave them a class of ACC dash item and I'm gonna say border top one pixel solid I'm gonna say one eight a a eight six zero there it is and the uh, overflow set it to hidden below this I'm gonna select the links with the class of BTN I mean uh, this one right here not these ones so just the main ones uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna set the display property to block uh, padding 1 RAM on top and bottom and 1.2 RAM left to right a background of uh, 1 ECE76 okay uh, a color of white so FFF text transform make them uppercase uh, and the position of a relative all right now I'm gonna select the BTN and use the pseudo selector before uh, and I'm gonna say content leave it blank position absolute I'm gonna set the width to 1 rem the height to 1 rem a background of a uh, 1 e c e 7 6 left I'm gonna say 20 pixels uh, bottom minus 7 pixels and if I take a look as you can see we have this uh, uh, what we're creating now if you take a look at the finished product is this um, arrow right here and we do that by creating a square let me give it a different background color so so you can see it better if I pair if I say 333 as you can see we have this square and now I'm gonna use the transform property transform I'm gonna say rotate 45 degrees and that will turn it into a little arrow as you can see and because it's the same uh, color uh, as our uh, as our menu items color you will, you will only see this uh, down arrow which is what we want now I'm gonna select the icon so BTN I I'm gonna say margin right 0.5 RAM okay so create some space there and now I'm gonna say uh, sub menu background 333 overflow hidden transition max height uh, 0 0.4 seconds without the column here and uh, max height 0 but for now I'm gonna come in this out so we will be able to see it I'm gonna select the links inside the sub menu so sub menu A and I'm gonna display them give them a display of block a padding of uh, 1 rem top and bottom 1.5 rem left to right 
color of white. Uh, font size, I'm gonna make them a little smaller. I'm gonna say 0 0.9 rem. Okay, a margin 0 0.2 rem, top and bottom, 0 left to right. And a position, I'm gonna set it to relative. Okay, there you have it. Now, I'm gonna create this, uh, those, uh, this little hover effect on the left. So, let's see. Um, I'm gonna use the submenu A and use the before pseudo selector. And I'm gonna leave the content uh, to blank again. And the position absolute, a width of 0 0.3 rem, a height of 100%, and a background of uh, 1FD67A, left 0, top 0, uh, set the transition to 0 0.4 seconds, the opacity to 0 for now, and when we hover it, so sub menu a column hover column before uh, i'm going to set the opacity to one and that should achieve the desired effect let's take a look uh, sorry as you can see it does but uh, what i want to do is uh, remove this uh, remove this text uh, this underline so i'm gonna go here up top and say uh, a text decoration none and that should do it okay now they're gone so now we're gonna move on to all we need to do is uh, create the accordion effect and uh, for that I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna select the item so ACC dash item I'm gonna use the target selector and the uh, sub menu and I'm gonna set the max height to 12 rem and uh, remember that we commented out a couple of lines. Now we're going to uncomment this out. So uh, when clicked, uh, the max height will move from um, 0 to the height that we set. So it should be done. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, one, one more thing we need to do is uh, we need to go to the index.html and uh, place some IDs here. So for this one, I'm going to say ID equals user. And uh, for the href and the link uh, for the class of button, I'm going to say hash, hashtag user. And uh, for the next one, I'm going to say id equals emails and the href hashtag emails. For the next one, I'm going to say id equals uh, settings and hashtag settings. And we have, uh, we have two more. So, id equals memberships and uh, the a element hashtag the href attribute hashtag memberships and uh, the logout uh, we should leave it like this uh, just with the hashtag it will close the the accordion so now it should work as you can see it works fine if I click this this and if I click the exit as you can see it. Uh, gets back to its original state so our accordion menu is working fine uh, if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that thumbs up button share the video and leave a comment below make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also click the bell notification icon and uh, that is it for now i will see you in the next video take care